lot of very exciting games tonight, but our next one might have had the most exciting finish. There's a reason these guys probably won't be sleeping much tonight. Here we go, our virtual studio team, Mesquite hosting Gilbert. Uh, our virtual studio team, by the way, they didn't know how to do Friday nights right. Halloween Eve brings out the full moon, of course, and the spooky smoke. It was this kind of game. Uh, Gilbert came to play, though. They got a new quarterback, Gavin Goulet. This dude was dropping dimes early on in his first action of the season. Tigers up 14-0 early, but here come those cats. Cameron Clinton, great first name. Last name's good, too. Right up the gut, 65 yards, goes untouched, touchdown. That was almost as good as the DGT tacos I had at halftime. Popped the fireworks, Mesquite down seven. They keep it close in the first half. Ty Thompson, look at that, the perfect strike. Andrew Morris, he keeps looking at the end zone. He knows where he's going. 90 yards to the house. Mesquite down 20 to 14 at the half. Second half, these two combined for 59 points. Mesquite scored 26 in the fourth quarter. Under a minute to go, down five. Thompson to Realis Hopper. Look at this catch. Look at this score. Touchdown, they go for two, don't get it. So Mesquite is up one. 47-46, Gilbert marches right back down the field. A 35-yard field goal to win it. Look at the reaction. No good. Mesquite holds on to win. What a comeback. 47-46, the final. Eric Ty and coaches somewhere back there joining us right now. Eric, I'll start with you. Take us through the emotions of that wild game. What was it like? It was crazy. It was back and forth the whole game. But at the end, we pulled through. Our team's tough. Ty, you threw what would be the game-winning touchdown, but had uh, no choice but to just stand there on the sidelines as Gilbert uh, made the field goal attempt to win the game. Talk to me about all the emotions you were feeling in those final minutes of the game. You know, I had full faith in our defense. We got a lot of good guys, and we do a lot of good things. So um, I had full faith in our guys, and I was, you know, ready to, to, to storm the field and, you know, start celebrating because I knew we had them. Now, this is your senior season headed to Oregon next year, uh, and you're halfway through. Talk to me about how this first half uh, of your senior year has been for you. You know, everything's been a little up and down, and, uh, you know, the guys have reacted perfectly. You know, we've, we've stayed the course and, you know, bought into the system, um, and, and I'm nothing but proud of these guys. And then, Coach, I know you're back there somewhere. What does this mean moving forward, this type of program win and, and y'all's drive to win another state title? First, are you okay, Coach? <laughs> yeah, no, I, oh, holy mackerel. I don't know. Uh, it's, uh, you know, there was time left on the clock. We felt like if we just stayed the course that we were going to be able to uh, get some things done. Obviously, I thought Gilbert had a great game plan, and, and it really took a full 48 minutes for us to, to kind of get going and understand it. But, uh you know, we, we, we just keep preaching that we want to play the whole game. We, we don't care what the halftime score is, and um, we really don't care. If we, as long as we have time on the clock, we believe that we can find a way to win. And if the buzzers go off and we don't, then we'll go back to work on Monday. But we, we believe we can win. Hey, whoever's the coach in the background, he looks exhausted. Guys, do this as a group together. Tell everyone at home who just won the game. Ski Wildcat. The ski. Game. Yeah. Ski Wildcat. Holy mackerel.